Well, I think, you know, we talked about it at the beginning of the year. We set uh, two distinct goals this year for the program, starting in the fall. It was to be at the national championships. And outdoors was our, was our main focus with the track team. Um, not that we didn't want to compete well indoors, we did. Uh, but the outdoor season was definitely going to be our strength, and uh, we're, we're excited to get it going. Wake Forest was a, was a great start for us. Um, coming out of the Big East meet, you know, we got our feelings hurt a little bit there. Although we, uh, we knew cross-country and outdoor were the big goals, and, and interestingly enough, I thought those that we brought had a very good meet. Um, you know, we didn't like where we finished, so we're, we're looking for a far greater performance outdoors at the, at the Big East level and, and hopefully some impact at the national level. Who will be the, this year's leaders? Well, yeah, I mean, leaders come in all shapes and forms, but, you know, in terms of that, the athletic leaders, we've, we've got a lot of All-Americans on this program right now, um, starting with Chelsea Carrier. She's, she's going to carry this team um, as she did last year. She's multi-talented. She's, you know, she's got high level, a high level of goals for the Olympic trials, the NCAA's, the Big East meet for us in our final Big East. Um, you know, we lose Caitlin Williams from the indoor season. She's been a huge part of our lives the last five years. Uh, Kate Harrison, um, you know, one of the favorites to go to the NCAA's in the 10,000 and, and compete for that title. Um, Katie Gillespie behind her. You know, we've got so many others. Kaylin Christopher's an All-American in the mile. Jess O'Connell's a Big East champ in the 3K and an All-American in 3K. Um, and, we, you know, we've, 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 got others, we've got others out there also. So it's, it's you know, we've got a lot of kids that, that have tremendous experience for us. Um, each event area seems to have their own leader. Tarina, Tarina's big time for us in the throw. She's leading a great throws contingent this spring. Uh, much, much improved. Uh, each year we just see a little bit more from them. The jumps, we've got Sinead Townsend, who's been a constant scorer for us. Uh, Megan Mock, an All-American in the, in the, in the uh, long jump, to go with a great one-two punch with Chelsea. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Last year we hoped to get some help at the Big East meet in the, in the throwing area and in, in the pole vault. Uh, we felt just short in both, but this year, you know, the throws indoors marketedly improved and, and, and the vault looks to do so. Um, Caitlin and, and we bring in Carrie Long uh, outdoors. Uh, we've got good backup there. We've still got some red shirting that we're talking about this year, but you know, we've got help in all categories. The vaulters look to score at the Big East. Um, the throwers, absolutely no reason why they're not going to score at the Big East meet for us. Um, our jumps, we've got a few All Americans in there. Uh, Chelsea Carrier. Our 4x1 came out last year, 4x4 four four at the Big East and surprised a lot of people. I, you know, I expect to do the same this year. Jenna Barreto has been a big, big improvement for us in the last one month. We've got some decisions to make with her, 4 or 800. Um, and we've got a strong group of distance runners. So, um, you know, I see no reason why we're not going to be a lot, a lot better than we were at the indoor meet. And, and hopefully we can maintain some of our national, um, some of our national performances of the last few years. What do you hope to accomplish next week at the Texas Relays and the Raleigh Relays? Uh, you know, Texas Texas Relays is interesting. You know, we're going into the Big 12. We've been to the Texas Relays a few times recently. Um, primarily, that the, the number one goal for that meet is is that Chelsea gets a national qualifier um, out of the way. Her events are not, you know, it's not contested at the at the regional championships. So, this is her ticket into nationals and. You know, we've got a few other kids traveling and making the trip with her. Good, good kids. Megan Mock will go and um, Shanae, Shanae will go. Uh, Sydney Cummings, and I missed her earlier. A, a, another great depth in that high jump for us in, indoors and, and outdoors. You know, we're going to bring a small group to Texas. Um, Coach Gallimore will travel with them. Uh, the remainder of the team will go to NC State. Uh, we're one of the best East Coast Invitationals. So, so we're going to two good meets next weekend, hoping to get a lot out of them.